Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to get the latest and the most updated keys for the Yuzu emulator. Now, currently, and I think for until further notice, this is the best method to get the most updated keys. Whenever Nintendo updates a new firmware, this is basically gonna be the best method. And I know I made past videos on how to get um, keys. Those methods are basically outdated and people kind of don't do those methods anymore because they can easily get <laughs> old to do. And it's more of a tedious process. And what other videos you see on YouTube showcasing how to get keys and this is not the method I'm showing you right now, basically that's not the best method. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. So I'll leave the description down below to the GitHub and also the main page of on this site. This is called MUSKI or M-U-S-A-K. Um, this is basically a UI for emulators. This can work for Ryu Jinx and also Yuzu, but Yuzu is going to be our main focus today. And these people are basically put mods, shaders, keys, resolutions. They do a lot of things. This is basically a user-friendly emulator UI. So what you do here, when I leave in the description down below to this site, you're gonna go to download and you're basically gonna press download. And then you're gonna see a setup file. It's gonna look something like this, but I highlighted it. And then you're gonna double click it and basically gonna set it up. And after you do that, it should look something like this, like a little squall thingy majiggy. And then you're gonna put that over there. And then we're basically gonna open this up. Now, I know when you first um, open this up, it might ask you to get to the latest version of this, of M-U-S-K-I or M-U-S-A-K. So, this is usually updated, it's pretty good. Now, you can do multiple things, like I said, you can get firmwares for Ryu Jinx and also Yuzu. So, let me see. Let me see I'm gonna work around with Yuzu. So I'm basically gonna get the latest keys. Press download keys. As you can see, when I press download keys, keys has successfully installed in user at data roaming user product keys. So if I press okay on that, I'm gonna type in Yuzu. Uh, this is my first time opening up Yuzu, so this is gonna this might take a while. But I'm basically gonna locate the latest keys I have for this emulator. Alright, so I have no games. <laughs> I basically deleted all of them. Alright. Open Yuzu folder. As you know, location is keys. As you know, today, as I'm recording this video, is 3 March the 8th. As you can see right now, um, March the 8th. And I just did that. I just did the update at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, basically around 3 o'clock, 3.38. And as you can see, the Yuzu keys I got for the latest update is at 3.38. So basically this thing gives you the keys and it can give you the firmware file for the Ryu Jinx emulator. And it basically can do more things. I need to mess around with this um, thing a little bit more to know how it works essentially, but I know this is very beneficial when it comes to um, Ryu Jinx keys and firmwares and also Yuzu's firmware. Yep, so that's pretty much it. That's how you get the latest keys um, for the user emulator. Like I said before, this is basically the best method due to the fact that the people who are behind working on this emulator UI always keep up to date with the latest keys whenever Nintendo gets a new firmware out. Instead of depending on Reddit files, other people um, files for them to update it in their media file or whatever <laughs> things you usually get your keys from. So these people are really up to date with their things. After a new firmware gets released, they usually get new keys within two to three days. And it's pretty fast and efficient. So like I said before, <laughs> this is the best method. 
So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe guys in this channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Bertone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.